I was the only one who participated in this thing, then the discussion was off topic, more interesting, actually. <laughs> but uh, the question, the, this was about um, uh, contracts with uh, external customers uh, and wanting to use Agile, but they want, you know, they want to sign off on requirements with a fixed price bid. So I said, I believe customers can get closer to what they actually want when projects are done using an Agile approach. Unfortunately, most of my customers' budgeting procurement policies require waterfall approaches. Who has gotten past this? Uh, a couple uh, bumblebees uh, came in, and uh, you know, I got uh, well. One suggestion is put a waterfall face on top of Agile. So, like, if you end up with some kind of walking skeleton, one or two iterations, call it a, uh, a uh, uh, what should we call it? A prototype, and, and just engage with the customer that way. A proof of concept. Yeah, mm -hmm. proof of concept. That you, so basically, uh, give them waterfall deliverables that are actually uh, agile uh, things in disguise. Um, um, do things like accept change. Like, yeah, make change requests is very expensive in a typical process, but we'll do it for free. But if you just don't do this feature at the bottom of your priority, um, that so just try to work with them in their language and in their way. Um, something I thought of is uh, to. Do, if there, usually there's a project, project sponsor and that's independent from the procurement person, the guy with the paycheck or the checkbook. Uh, try to get them to advocate uh, at least to, to, to convince the person with the uh, responsibility for signing the check that they will take responsibility for the project. And then we can work directly with that person in an agile way. The total price, the, you know, the budget, is just the sum and we subtract iteration from that. If we finish early, you know, they get an award for 